to Review Time with Tim. Today I have a, another strange food combination that is surely not to be that appetizing. Um, it is peanut butter and onion on a sandwich. Uh, I'm going to dive right into that today and uh, see if this is actually any good or not. This was a suggestion that someone said they liked peanut butter and onion on a sandwich. <clears throat> I have not a lot of hope for this. It's probably going to be, I'm personally thinking it's going to be very similar to the uh, pickle. I can't get any, I'm going to keep the root on there. I can't get any better. That pickle challenge was kind of interesting. Um, like I said, it wasn't overly too bad. Um, but peanut butter and pickle sandwich, check that out if you haven't seen that video yet. And like, obviously I also have my tuna fish and peanut butter video. Just going to peel this off here. Oh, yeah. For some reason, I know you can eat it, but I don't like that, that first top layer on the onion. trying not to waste an entire onion here just on this peanut butter video, so. Uh, I don't, all right, here we go. All right, good, good amount here. Let's chop this up. All right. Sprinkle that onion up there. Strange food, combination review, peanut butter, and onions on a sandwich. Alright, here we go. Very similar to the tuna fish and um, tuna fish and chocolate sauce video. I think I might have said peanut butter and chocolate sauce. Um, the peanut butter really kind of drowns out the onion flavor, the raw onion flavor. It does add some crunchiness to the sandwich, which makes it kind of nice. But I think, if anything, I would rather just add some potato chips um, to get that crunchiness. But obviously, onion is a healthier option. Of course, this is a white onion, sweet white onion. Um, I didn't, you know, it could be different if it was red or more yellow. Let's, uh, let's, let's see. If we can get the onion there. Hmm. Would I make this sandwich? On my own. If I was hungry. No. I would not. I mean, this is, a, as you can see, there's a good, good amount of onion right there. So I'm going to really dive into that bite. And see what we got. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's not awful, the peanut butter and onion. The peanut butter really drowns out the flavor of the onion. As soon as the peanut butter wears off, um, but that's towards the end of your chewing, then you start to taste the onion flavor starts to kick in, especially because it's a raw onion. Um, on a 1 to 10 scale of how good this is, I would have to say it's a four, so it's really low on the scale. It's not like I'm going to go out of my way and be like, oh, yeah, I want an onion and peanut butter sandwich. Oh, that's what I'm craving. Um, so there you have it, a four out of ten on my review scale. Peanut butter and onion sandwich. 
Not awful, not the best, wouldn't go out of my way. Check you later, people.